Hi all, welcome to Tricks. First of all, I would like to take a moment and thank all my subscribers and all those who watch my videos, post comment and give their feedback. We have crossed a milestone of 1 lakh subscribers. Thank you so much for all your love and support. It was not possible without you. Today in this video, we will learn a trick to remember the UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity in India. The word cultural heritage has two parts. First, culture and heritage. The word culture comes from cultivate. It means whatever we think, we do. The embodiment of that thinking and that thought becomes part of our culture. And heritage is what we inherit from our past throughout the ages. All the art, culture, music, material and non-material thing that we inherit becomes the part of our heritage. In simple words, culture refers to a human-made environment which includes all the material and non-material products of group life that are transmitted from one generation to other. So it is the expression of our nature in our modes of living and thinking. All the achievements of human being such as art, music, literature, architecture, sculpture, philosophy, religion, science, all are the aspects of culture. So there are two parts, material and non-material, also called tangible and non-material sources are called intangible. Intangible means the physical, there is no physical presence. It can be felt and experienced. So intangible source of culture is practices such as religious practices, representations, expressions, knowledge, skills, etc. And material culture includes monuments, paintings, artifacts, art, archaeological sites, cultural landscapes, etc. In material culture also, it can be divided into two, movable and non-movable. Non-movables are buildings, monuments, sites, etc. And movables are artifacts, paintings, coins, etc. UNESCO prepares the list of intangible cultural heritage in order to focus on their preservation too. In India, there are 13 intangible cultural heritage elements which are inscribed in UNESCO's list and this information is based on the reply given in the Lok Sabha in March 2018. These 13 elements are first is tradition of Vedic chanting included in 2008. There is no need to remember the date. The questions come basically in the exam they will ask which of the following are included in the intangible list. So you need not to remember the year. We need to remember the elements. So tradition of Vedic chanting, Ram Leela, the traditional performance of the Ramayana, Kutiyattam, it is a Sanskrit theater of Kerala. It is a combined dance drama performed by the Chakyas and this goes on for 6 to 20 days and the theme is basically Hindu mythology. Raman, religious festival and ritual theater of the Gadwal Himalayas. Mudiyattu, it is also a ritual theater and dance drama of Kerala and it depicts the mythological tale between the battle of Kali and Demon Darika and this is performed in the village temples. Then there is the famous Kalbelia folk dances of Rajasthan performed by the um, tribe of the same name in the state of Rajasthan and the name it is itself depicts that it is based on the serpent movement the dance moves resembles the serpent movement. The, ne the next is Chow dance. Chow dance is, is a martial art dance performed in three states, Odisha, Jharkhand and West Bengal. And in, while in some parts the dancer wear mask, in Mayurbhanj, the dancers do not wear mask. Mayurbhanj is, is in Odisha. The next is Buddhist chanting. Next is Buddhist chanting of Ladakh, recitation of sacred Buddhist texts in the Himalayan Ladakh region, Jammu and Kashmir, India. Sankirtana, it is a ritual singing, drumming and dancing of Manipur. Now, not only you have to remember the elements, but also the specific features of it because it may be asked that Sankirtana belongs to Manipur, what people do in Sankirtana. So you need to know the specifics of the elements. 
Next is traditional brass and copper crafts of utensil making among the thateras of Jandiala Guru Punjab. It is also mentioned in NCRT, so it is important. Then yoga, it was included in 2016. Nauroj is the Parsi New Year. And lastly, Kumbh Mela included in 2017. The most recent one included in 2017. So you can remember just these two, Nauroj, Kumbh Mela, Yoga, which were recently inducted. Now to remember all these elements, I have made a story. Now since it is about our culture, now in our country, we respect all cultures and traditions on all religions. There are two persons, Ram and Raman, who are very religious, but they respect all cultures and tradition and follow this in their daily life. In this story, so this is the story. On New Year's Day, Ram and Raman follow the, follow the cultural. Now the spelling is not correct, just follow the words and their pronunciation. Cultural tradition of Buddhist and Vedic chanting. Buddhist and Vedic chanting while doing yoga. And when they go to Kum, they stay in Kutia and sleep on mud with sannyasis. So you may have seen in Kumbh Melas, there are so many huts built for the sannyasis. Sannyasis go there, they live in thatched roofs and do their rituals. So the Ram and Raman also go to Kumbh Mela and they stay in Kutia. Kutia is a Hindi word. It means thatched roof. Our seers, our sannyasis used to earlier stay in Kutias. So they stay in Kutia and sleep on mud with sannyasis. So in this story, New Year's means Nauroj, the Parsi New Year from Ram, Ram Leela, from Raman, Raman, Gadwal of Gadwal Himalaya, from cultural Kal, Kalvelia dance of Rajasthan, serpent movement, from Charal, CHA stands for Chau, dance of Odisha, West Bengal, and Jharkhand, the martial art dance with the dancers wear sometime masks, the traditional brass wares built by Thateras of Punjab, brass and copper wares from Buddhist, Buddhist chanting, Vedic, Vedic chanting, yoga stands for yoga, Kum, Kumbh Mela from Kutia, Kutiyattam or Kudiyattam, the dance theater of Kerala from Mud, Mudiyattu, pardon me for the pronunciation. Also the dance drama theatre of Kerala and from Sanyasi, San Sankirtana of Manipur. Repeat this story two or three times and you will be able to remember all the 13 intangible elements that have been included in the UNESCO's list. I hope you like this trick. If you like this trick, please post that in the comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.